I'm in. I'm in. Good brown. Came up, took the dry. So, as you can tell, it's a horrible overcast day. A little bit of rain about. And uh, when I checked in with the farmer before climbing over the ridge to get into here, he said there was somebody up here yesterday. So, to get one at least, I'm pretty happy. Not the biggest fish, but they all count. Morning crew, so yeah I climbed over a ridge today to get down into this valley uh, when I asked the farmer if anybody had been up he said ah oh, there was a couple of guys came out yesterday so I just really wanted to come up and have a look so I thought well I'll come up anyway and and see how I go uh, I've got my seven weight hardy wrath there that I'm using today big deer here terrestrial and I'll put a nymph underneath it but this one I've just got four pound came up took the big dry doesn't didn't hesitate so I'll show you him and then we'll get him underway there he is how's that how's that eh oh he wants to go cracker Oh, it's a good fish. He's really taking me to the other side. So, yeah. Another one on the dry. Oh, yeah, he's a good brown, that one, isn't he? This pristine water. Oh, second hookup of the day. Beautiful, fat, healthy hen fish. Four and a half pound. Beautiful hen fish. Lovely spots on her head. I'll just let it, while we drink, set, check out those spots on her head. Beautiful. Let's get her on the way. We shot away from it. I'll try one more. Yes, took the nymph. So, I've just come, I fished the other side of the river and I thought this side looked really good so I thought well I walked back downstream to fish this side. Spotted this guy. Took a a big size 10 stonefly variant that I tied up with my late cat's fur <laughs> cruise called a cruisy man nymph so thanks cruise it looks like he might have a bit of a sore jaw this guy so I'll get him in and get him underway and hopefully he can uh, recover and carry on so I managed to land him, unfortunately he has got a, looks like a busted jaw on one side. I don't know whether that's from fighting with other fish or, or what, but I'll show you his good side. Five pound this one. Lovely spots on his back. Lovely spots there. On his head. Look at that. No? Yeah. 
So yeah, that's a cracking fight he put up. So even though his jaw is a bit buggered, I'll just show you his jaw quickly this side. Mm, poor bugger. But he seems to um, have plenty of condition and Cracking. I just uh, was fishing this pool up here and uh, I knew there had to be something there, it was just too fishy and uh, when I saw it accelerate forward this is when I spotted it and of course the indicator went under and into a lovely brown hey good brown good brown lovely green back on this guy look at that stunning him which is great so I can now give you a quick look at him so five pound very clean brown not many spots on him but yeah lovely orange spots there on his flanks see the orange spots there ah a cracker There's another one in that eye. Two, so same pool, same little pool. This one here is really took off like it had way bit of ear time. Thanks buddy. Oh. Yeah well I'll wrap with this one. Five and a half pounds, lovely hen, really fat, super clean. Look at her. <laughs> Beautiful. Just so thick and deep. Really fat, healthy fish. This one's going nuts. Oh, he might have me this one. God, it was right in the shallows, nearly on the bank, this guy. Unfortunately, it looks like he's going to go right through the pool. Spook anything else that might have been in there. But, never mind. Oh, he's a good brown. Good looking brown. Oh, yeah, he's big brown. Might be best of the day, this guy. If I can land him. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, he's fighting. He's fighting well. Pretty poor lighting, so you may not be able to see him as good as what I what I can. He's got lovely bits of blue on his gill rates. A stunning fish, six and a half pound. Lovely big jack. He's really sort of short and thick and fat. Look at that for a fish, eh? <laughs> That's just absolutely gorgeous.
a series of waterfalls coming off the bank here going in Oh boy, it's a tricky drift, just sitting up, upstream there, from one of those big white rocks, the third one up, if you can make it out, sitting in there, I just couldn't get a, a nice drift, but a nice dark fish anyway. hasn't really woken up yet and there he goes oh lovely golden colors on this one what a cracking fish come on buddy come around the front of that rock there the side strain oh there he goes that was my own fault, that was some bad fishing there. The hook broke. So that's why we lost that lovely fish. Well that's it, that's the day over. Six clonk and good brownies. Or seven. Can't recall now, but uh, yeah, um, nearly back at the Ute, so a bit of a drive to get home. So yeah, always nice to visit the area. I'll definitely be back. Uh, two on drives, the rest on nymphs, and that one that unfortunately the uh, hook broke. So that's just bad luck, isn't it? So yeah, uh, what a great trip.